Hello everyone. So today I'd like to speak to um, those that are following or anybody that comes across this video. If you are a woman, you are a single person that is not yet married, please be very critical in picking a life partner. Do not pick based on the now. What survives a marriage is not only love. I'm telling you the truth. The, the only thing that would keep your marriage is if from the very beginning your foundation is right. Do not marry a useless man. Do not marry a man that is not driven. Do not marry a man that is a drunkard. I will change. I will change. I will change. You have stayed with him one year. You have stayed with him two years. In fact, one year is for six months. I will change. I will change. I will change. Or you feel like you can change the man. When you are dating somebody and everybody around you has something similar to say about that person's attitude or character, and you say, yes, you must marry this man, please understand that marriage is for better, for worse. I know there are certain words that even I will not encourage you to stay. When a man is beating, when there's gone violent, run for your life. You see, I need to also talk to parents. It is better to receive your daughter back single than dead. Because your daughter will tell you, this man is doing this, that man is doing this. You say, my lineage, nobody has divorced. Your mother did not leave, your father, you, you will not leave. Um, somebody is beating, don't worry, it will change. You know, men, they get angry. They will be telling you lies. But I tell you, if you die, if anything happens to you, every other person will move on. If you are with a man that is not okay, run for your life. And you might misquote me somewhere and say she's telling women. I am not telling women. If you are a good man, this is my question. And this my comment should not pain you. If anything I'm saying here begins to pain you, then you need to search yourself. Because the, the, the Lord did not say join a man and woman so that that woman becomes his punching bag. So that that man becomes a lazy man, will not do anything, will not go out and look for a job. But every evening is to go out and get drunk and come back the next day. That is not a husband. I'm not talking about having a good man. If you follow me, I am for good men that look out for their family, that struggle for their family, that make anything they have to do, as long as it's not illegal, to bring food to the table. You see them carrying bricks, elderly people driving taxis. Those are good men. When you are married to a man that does not have sense, people cannot talk to him, filled with pride, lazy, a drunkard, a man that will go out and sleep around, has no respect for you. You say for better, for which that's not the kind of worse God was talking about. Worse in the terms of when one is down, the other one can uphold each other. When God looked at Adam, he said, your life is not complete. Let me give you somebody that will complete your life to make it better. He did not say, marry a man, let the man turn you to, to a slave. Let the man turn you to a punching bag. Become the breadwinner of that home. Marry a man, you know, go to school, you know, get certificate, you know, get anything, or you want to stay in the house. That's not a good man. I will not deceive you. If nobody will tell you, I will tell you. I, I'm the first to say, do not look at the riches of a man and marry him. If a man has vision, if he has drive, if he has purpose, if he loves the Lord, you have a good man. It's only a matter of time that God will bless him and turn his life around if you support him. But if from day one you go and marry a man that, is, that does not even have, if you don't know that he's going left or right. I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. See, when you start suffering, eh, that love will, will escape out the door. When you are home by yourself every day, that love will escape out the door. When it's time to pay school fees, you are the one struggling up and down as a woman to gather money and pay school fees. That love will escape before you know you are fighting every day. In a home where there is no peace, love cannot thrive. So if you're a man here, you've been taking advantage of your wife, you maltreat her, you disrespect her, you do not support her. Some of you will lie. I have a daughter. The husband said, don't worry, let's just get married. You will continue school. This is a lady who wanted to go as far as she could go. She said, don't worry, let's just get married. I'll train you to school. Because he could afford it. But now, 
If she talks about that area, they will be fighting the home for the whole of that week. You, you tie a woman's destiny down. You don't want her to grow. A lot of men are there. They don't even want their wives to have money so that you continue to enslave her. Women, give yourselves brain. Because you see, there have been cases. Tomorrow, the man becomes one big man. All of a sudden, you say, ah, this one didn't go to school. Let me go and look for the one that went to school. Forgetting he was part of the reason why he did not go to school. Give yourself sense. Build yourself as a woman. Build yourself in every way you can build yourself. Marry a man that will support you. Marry a man that will help to build you. Not press you and kill your star because he's not confident. It's only a man that is not confident that doesn't want his wife to have anything. I put it to you men, if you are confident of yourself, you know yourself, you know what you bring to this woman's life, you know without you she cannot go anywhere, she can't go far, she needs you, no matter what she has, she will, she will honor you, she will respect you. And it's only a woman that is not wise, that will not appreciate a man that God uses to elevate her. My husband stands be beside me, behind me, in front of me, he pushes me more than I want to push myself. That's what we are talking about. A lot of times, I don't want to use myself as an example. Maybe be, oh yes, now you're a pastor's wife. You're. It's not about that. But from the very beginning, what was the foundation? Are you making it about money? You meet a good man. The next thing, send me recharge card. Send me. We are bigger than that now. The next generation of women that should, you know, are women of substance. Women that know their worth. Women that know their value. Women that are ready to work hard and make a name for themselves in the society. Those, that's, that's what you should be aspiring for. Your life does not end and start with marriage. And that's why you see a lot of women, the moment they are no longer married, they are doing very well. The society has, we need to also ask ourselves, why is it that when this woman was with this man, she wasn't doing well? But now that's, because she's not able to access opportunities that the man was suppressing her from accessing. So please, marry a good man. Marry a man that treats you like a queen. He might not be perfect, but you know in your heart that when it comes to your matter, he honors you. He allows you to impute in his life no matter how little. Marry a man that will not be hiding money from you because the moment he has money, he can't tell you. You are talking of one holiday somewhere, you want to buy this, you want to walk and buy it for yourself. There's nothing wrong with buying anything for yourself. But power it is. Marry a good man. Don't be in a rush. People might be laughing at you. You're getting older. Your sisters are married. This one is married. You, you are not married. There is marriage and then there is what? Marriage. There is a husband and then there is what? Husband. There is a husband. There is a father. A lover. A friend. And then there is a husband. Not a lover. Not a friend. But the one that will just make you regret being born. I know how many women have said, if I come back into this world, I will not get married. Why have they made such statements? It is because of the monsters. Monsters that the devil sends their way. That will not be your portion. If you're watching me, I want you to wake up every day and say to yourself, I will get a good man. I will get a deserving man. I will get a man that loves the Lord. I will get a man that will pull me to God. I will get a man that will bless me physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I will get a support system that even if I don't see him for one day, I am calling, I am calling. I'm excited when he's coming home. Not a man that as soon as he's coming, uh, the children hear the horn of the car, everybody's running away because he's a monster. God will help you. You will end with a good man. You will end with a man that deserves you. You will end with a man that respects you. You will end up with a man that will provide for the family happily without being forced. You, you as a woman every day, you are the one. Go and look for a job now. Go and do your every day. Women are... Men are... I, I run the women's ministry. Divine Women in God's Service, D-Wings. So, I am talking from a lot of experiences that I've had. And that I have also witnessed around me. May God keep all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.